All right, joining us now, President Trump's attorney, uh, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, good to see you. Thank you for being Sean, with that us. Sean, that was an absolutely terrific uh, monologue. I have to say, I, 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 coming from Brilliant. you, it's, those, are, those are high words of praise, sir. And um, we've been friends a long time. We uh, used to call into my late night radio show. <laughs> That's how far back when you were mayor. Um, uh, you know, a full, complete vindication, especially obstructions out. I mean, the, uh, the attorney general said it's over, quoted Mueller. Uh, also said he'd release the report. This wasn't a comprehensive summary of the report, but. It's interesting, while, no, Mueller didn't make a decision on the obstruction side of things, he just laid it out and handed it to the Justice Department, which then immediately, clearly, the Attorney General and Rod Rosenstein said no. Well, I mean, first, first of all, one of the things the Democrats are doing today and the day before, on collusion, let's be clear, Mueller did reach a conclusion that there was no collusion of any kind. He went so far as to say he used all the words you could possibly use, conspiracy, coordination, not just with the president, but with the entire staff. So that's about, and that comes from Mueller. On obstruction, he said, I don't find any, um, I, I don't find any basis to charge a crime, but I can't exonerate. And uh, the, the difficult issues of law and fact, I imagine he had, a, he had like a dispute in his staff, but none of it amounts to any finding of a crime. And prosecutors are not supposed to exonerate generally. So he, he apparently three weeks ago, he gave it to the attorney general, Ro Rosenstein, and the office of legal counsel. They spent three weeks looking at it and came to the conclusion, I've told you from the very beginning, this whole obstruction theory is a creation of, of uh, Andrew Weissman, who's created crimes before and been been uh, reversed by the Supreme Court of the United States for finding crimes out of the thin air. And in that case, against businessmen he didn't like. In this case, against Donald Trump, who he despises. I mean, this is a Hillary Clinton partisan. This is a guy who worked with Peter Strzok, who we know hates Trump. I mean, Mueller had on his staff eight or nine Trump haters, which is unprecedented in a prosecution staff. So if they didn't find a basis to charge him with anything, they exonerated him. They did everything they could, including putting a man in solitary confinement for eight or nine months to break him, and they couldn't break him. So, so this is about as big an exoneration as I've ever seen, and I've been in the prosecution business for, I don't know, since 1970s. And to try to reverse it is, I mean, I think they look, uh, they look foolish and they look pathetic. And I am confident that the, I've, I said this from the very beginning, I haven't read the report, I haven't seen it, they can put out every part of it. It is not going to show either one. Otherwise, you couldn't come to the conclusions you came to. And second, and if they have yes, a few right. nasty facts in there, I'm ready to slam it down their throat. Because we have an 87-page report, which we will use. And there are some things that the special counsel did that I don't think they're going to want people to hear. They acted in ways that outrage me as a person who cares about justice. You know, you, you, let's start with the team that was appointed. How, how do you justify only Democratic donors being appointed by Mueller? How do you justify hiring Hillary Clinton's attorney? Uh, you know, you mentioned Andrew Weissman. We have gone over this record a lot. As a result, he, once, he was held responsible for withholding exculpatory evidence. Tens of thousands of, of Enron accounting people lost their jobs, overturned 9-0 in the Supreme Court. That doesn't happen a lot and then put four mayoral executives in jail for a year. That was overturned by the Fifth Circuit. How does somebody like that get chosen in this? Th th I have a big problem, Mr. Mayor, well, with Well, you that. should have a big problem, uh, Sean. It's outrageous, and it never should happen again. I mean, I, I had, had great respect for Bob Mueller. When he was first appointed, although, you know, people, wa I said, well, yeah, this is a fair guy. Then when he picked the staff that he picked, I thought he kind of lost his mind. I mean, you don't pick a counsel to the Clinton Foundation to investigate Donald Trump. Any more than if I were investigating Hillary, I'd pick counsel to the Trump Foundation. If I did, the New York Times, the Washington Post, and all those characters would go nuts. So that was the first giveaway. Weissman is probably the most notorious federal prosecutor you could find. Everything done wrong in this investigation, he's done wrong before. He charged non-crimes. That was the Supreme Court reversed him for. 
he charged people with things that are not crimes. Well, he's done that in this case. Obstruction, that's his crazy theory. Not, not a legitimate theory, and the prosecution of Cohen for campaign fraud. That's ridiculous theory. He made it up. Let me, last quick question, um, and uh, by the way, I'm nobody that should be questioning. Um, I know your legal background. You were in the Southern District of New York as prestigious. You, you, you prosecuted some of the toughest mob guys in the country. Um, why waive executive privilege? Why wouldn't, why would, I don't think that should happen. Maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, I think the question is, if there's any kind of privilege asserted, the, it's going to be, oh, what's there, what's there, what's there? I can't, I can't give you an opinion on executive privilege. I'm not the White House counsel and I'm not Barr. I don't see all of that. I can only give you the opinion of his private lawyer. I don't care what they put out. He didn't collude. He didn't obstruct. God, do we have it's to say over. it again? You're right. He, and I can prove it. So give me what you got and I will knock it out of the ballpark. With okay. the truth. How about that? The truth. I want, I do. It's 87 pages, your report. I want to see it. Yeah, well, you'll see it and someday. I wanna... and, and I hope I don't have to use it. But if we have to use it, he didn't collude. He didn't obstruct. Grow up, guys. It's like getting used to the fact he got elected. Go see a psychiatrist. Calm down. And oh, adjust man. to the real world. Well, I, I want to see that. I want to <laughs> see the FISA applications. I want to see three oh, OTUs that one, that gang of eight. That to perjury prosecutions. Uh -huh. Guaranteed. The president, they the president said he's going to release it. Off. Told me on Wednesday. Okay. Mr. Mayor, thank you for being with us on this busy breaking news night.